Hey everyone, Jason here at Alorium Technology, and in this video, I'm gonna step you through the quick start guide for our brand new Evo M51 compute module. And what I'm gonna do in this particular case is I'm gonna actually start with a brand new board that's still in the bag right off the production line. So this one has not been touched uh, by me or anybody else uh, except for when it was put on the tester. Uh, but other than that, I wanna be able to step it right through. So when you get your board, it'll come in a static bag just like this, and it should be the exact same experience for you if you follow the instructions that are on the resources page for our board. So I'm gonna transition here. We're gonna give you a view of the board. We're gonna give you a view of my desktop and we'll step through these instructions. I'll show you where everything is and we'll get you started and on your way. Hopefully this will be a valuable resource. All right, well, what I've got here is I've got, as I showed you, my Evo M51 board in the package. We're gonna open that up and then we're gonna just kind of step through some of the procedures in the quick start guide. And really we're gonna focus on how to get things up and running with the Arduino IDE and programming it through Arduino. Now, Evo M51 also supports CircuitPython and uh, we're going to go through that at a later time in a different video and we'll be adding some instructions on that as well because the development of support, full support for CircuitPython isn't quite there yet. It's under development right now, it does work with some limitations, but anyway, we're gonna focus on Arduino in this video. Now, the way to get started is you can go to the resources page at Alorium Technology, so alloriumtech.com, click on resources. This will take you to all of the sort of learning, helpful resources, tech support stuff that we have for our boards. Here you'll see Evo M51 docs, you can click on that. And from there, we'll go on quick start guide. Now you could also just directly go to alloriumtech.com slash Evo M51 quick start, which was this tab here. I guess I don't need that any longer. And uh, one of the things that I realized in the process of doing this is that we may bump into some typos. We may run into something that's not quite right here. I'm not gonna worry about that for this video. I'll come back around and fix it later. Now, as I mentioned, we have a bunch of information in this quick start guide about the pinouts, about the board, what it does, and I'm not gonna step through all of that in this video. What I really wanna focus on is getting started with programming it since when you get it, you're gonna to wanna to just open it up, make sure it's working, and we'll just go forward with that. So we're gonna jump down here to installing Arduino IDE. Now these instructions really kinda of mimic instructions you'd find for installing Arduino IDE. Um, we have links here to go to the Arduino IDE page and you can follow that and get those installed. Again, I'm not gonna do that in this video because that's a pretty common thing if you're familiar with Arduino and their documentation is great on how to do that. We do have a Linux guide if you're running Arduino IDE on Linux. Sometimes it can be a little bit different and we do have a Linux setup tutorial. This was originally written for our Accelerate family of boards, but you can still use it to get things installed. For Linux, we probably need to do some updates there for Evo as well. So we'll make sure we take a look at that and, and that that gets updated as well for anything that needs changes. So once Arduino is installed, and in my case, I do have it installed, here's just a simple new sketch that we're not gonna really do anything with. The next step that we wanna do is we have to add the Evo M51 board support to the Arduino IDE. So what we need to do is um, you can either go to our GitHub page, github.com, slash Alarium Technology, and we go to Arduino boards, and you'll find this is where we have all the board package stuff. And we've got this URL that you can copy. It's also here in the quick start guide, so you could copy it right from here as well. You know, some board suppliers have you go to the GitHub page and get it. Some of them are provided right in line. But anyway, you can grab it from here. And then what we're gonna do is go to Arduino, go to Preferences, and we'll drop that right here where it says additional board manager URLs. And this will allow Arduino to know where to go and get the board packages for the Alarium technology boards. So once that's done, we'll keep going here. We can go back to Arduino. Oh. All right. We go to tools boards. Now you don't, you'll see our board is not anywhere in this list. We have to hit boards manager and that'll bring up this tool. I'm gonna to move this out of the way for right now. We'll come back to that in a second. And it takes a, it takes a little bit of time to download all the, the platforms and all the boards that are available. There's an awful lot. And so it takes some time, but if you click in here in the search bar and type Alorium, you can see we've got two board packages. So the Accelerate family, these are our AVR boards. We're not gonna worry about that today. 
in this video, I mean. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna click on the SAMD 32-bit. So it's a version 1.2.0 is the most recent version that we released. So we'll add that. Now, one of the things I've seen with Arduino is that you can see here, it says installing tools one out of seven. And I've seen this with our packages. I've seen it with other board vendor packages as well. Sometimes it'll look like it gets hung up and it just sits there for a really long time. It will eventually finish. I don't understand what's taking so long. And as I said, it doesn't seem to be specific to our board package because I've seen this in other places as well. And in fact, maybe while it's doing that, we'll go ahead and open up the board here. So let's, let's get it out and get things ready. All right, so I've got the board, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab a knife here and we'll do this off camera. Okay, we'll get that cut open. All right, so shiny new Evo M51 board. Uh, I'm trying to do this from kind of a distance here. All right, my microphone's not quite reaching over to where that camera is. So anyway, so we've got that ready to go. And I've also got my my USB, so there's a USB micro. We'll plug that in. And it looks like it's gonna wanna flip it upside down. Now the thing you'll you'll see here is that um, when you plug it in, you're gonna get this pattern. And what we're seeing, and sometimes those NeoPixels are, are hard to see in this light, um, but we've got a blinking pattern going on with the NeoPixel, so it's just rotating through colors and the LED in the upper left-hand corner, the D13 LED is also blinking. So that's a good thing. That means that the board's working. That is the, that's the program that we put on the board after manufacturing. We've run it through manufacturing test. We program it with this and we just know that everything's working. So when you pull yours out of the bag, you plug it in, as soon as it gets power, it starts doing this. That means good things. All right, so the board install is done. We can see that's installed. We go ahead and close that. Now, when we bring up the Arduino IDE, we'll go to tools board and down here below the arduino stuff you should see lorem technology samd boards and lorem tech evo m51 is listed we'll click on that now when you do that we're going to get a whole bunch of other features that pop up it's just kind of part of the samd architecture so there's a bunch of other stuff that shows up now so you'll see the board is selected and there's a bunch of other features we're not going to worry about for this particular video the one thing we do care about is that um, we want to make sure that we are connected to the right the right modem so we can see it's sitting there at USB modem. And uh, the other thing is the image that's on here. Now, right now, Evo ships and the Arduino package only ships with a single image. So this is the default image. This is for the FPGA. And if you're familiar with our products, you know that we provide uh, several different images for our boards, depending on what you want to do with them. We anticipate and have plans to do the same thing with Evo as well. But as of right now, the only thing shipping is the our, is this Evo default image. Okay. And now what we're going to do is I'm actually going to double click reset. So when this thing powered up, it's running a sketch. And so if I double click on reset, uh, it should put it into bootloader mode. And so I'm going to do that real quick. The reset button is right down here in the bottom corner, and I'm gonna do a double click on that. Okay, now you can see that uh, we should be in bootloader mode, and now when we click on tools, whoops, where did my window go? Come on, Arduino, there it is. Now when we click here, it's, it's ready. So when you go into bootloader mode, when it's not running that sketch, it actually goes and it reads the Alarium Tech Evo M51, you can see there where I've got the blue highlight. So it knows what board it is. We know we're connected to the, the right board. So we'll select that. And we provide a, a couple of examples, really only one that we're gonna talk about today. Uh, if we go down to go to file examples, and if we scroll down, we can see the stuff for Alarium Tech Evo M51. Let me address the, the spy and the wire are things that are kind of carryovers from examples for the SAMD. Those aren't necessarily specific to our particular board. Uh, however, we've got these, the Evo flash load, that's for doing the FPGA flash so you can uh, load new FPGA images across USB. We'll cover that in another video as well. The one we wanna talk about now is under getting started. 
and we're going to go down and we're going to look at Get Evo Info. So again, if you're familiar with our prior hardware, we used to have a, a sketch that you could run called Get Accelerate version that would go out and query the FPGA and look at the board and, and feedback information. This is a very similar kind of program that runs and it'll run on the SAMD and it basically will dump out information about the FPGA and about the configuration of the board. So now that we're here, we'll double check one more time and make sure we've got the right port we got it. Yep, we're in the right place. So if we upload this, everything should compile and run and upload to Evo, and we should be able to get some information back on the Evo board itself. All right, if we bring up the serial monitor, we will get the information dumped out here. Okay. So get Evo info. There's not a whole lot of information we run out right now. The product is the Evo M51. This is Board Revision 2020-02, and some information about the FPGA. The SVN release for the FPGA uh, image that's on there is 237, and we're currently shipping the FPGA image without any extra accelerator blocks. So now you know it works. So if, if you've, the idea here is that you get, the, you get the board, take it out of the package, plug it in, get the Arduino ID installed. As soon as you plug it in, you should get that flashing pattern that we showed you. And then once you run get Evo info, you can, uh, you can get the information and you know when you do that, that, hey, everything's working. So the SAMD is able to talk to the FPGA. That's where this data is coming from, our configuration registers inside the FPGA. So we are good to go. The other thing that I want to show another example sketch that we have pre-installed in the board package under the getting started menu is Evo pin control. And we wanted to add this because uh, it's very easy to use the Evo board, just like you would any other sort of uh, SAMD type of board, like a, if you think about Adafruit Feather M4 Express, which was you know, sort of the inf inspiration for this board, you can do something very, very similar. So if you look at Evo pin control, um, you've got a really easy way to just, all, what we've done is we've basically hidden kind of how the configuration stuff all happens in the FPGA. Right now, all of the IO from the SAMD is just passing straight through the FPGA, and it works just like a standard board as if the FPGA isn't even there, really, when it when it first starts. Of course, the difference being, one of the differences is we have those extra 34 IO, which are coming out of the E-pins, which are the little castellated vias, the extra castellated vias around the edge of the board. And uh, if you're not familiar with that, um, you can check out some of our intro videos for Evo M51, and we'll be adding more content as we go forward, getting a lot of details into how this board works and some of the extra features for it. But you can check out this Evo pin control. This will give you an idea how to use it. Looks exactly like using any other SAMD type of sketch, or if you're familiar with AVR in terms of setting pin mode, setting the input and output, it's gonna look really, really familiar, be very easy for you to use. Okay, um, that's it. I just realized as I was stepping through that, I didn't kind of keep going along here with the quick start guide. But basically everything we did was uh, just following these steps and you can go ahead and look at those. So I just want to encourage you, if you try this, you run into any issues at all, you have any questions, please shoot us an email, support at aloriumtech.com. We'll make sure we get you the help you need and uh, we'll keep you up to date as well on any new things that we're doing in terms of new examples we put out there. We've got some FPGA images that we're building and getting ready to release so you can do other things like adding the servo control and quadrature interfaces, some of the other motion control stuff we've got. And we wanna make sure you have that in your hands as well. Um, also, we are going to be doing just like with the open accelerate flow for our AVR images. If you wanna do your own custom FPGA logic design, put it into the FPGA on Evo, you can do that as well. And it's, uh, in, in fact, it's it's a really clean design that the team came up with that our architect did on the FPGA. And uh, it, it might, uh, give you some ideas for things you want to be able to do on the FPGA. Anyway, that's it for this video. Stepping through the quick start from opening the bag to getting something running. I hope you uh, got some value out of this. Uh, look forward to what you guys are going to build with this board and just really excited to finally get it out there into your hands. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll talk to you very soon.